What up guys? Gaming with Paige here. This is Paige. Let's turn the volume on. Alright. So this is one of my armies that I've got that I've been using as a farming army. And it's been working pretty nicely today for me. Earlier anyway. We'll see how it is right now. Um, we'll drop a couple things, see what he does, see if he's any good. Basically, this is just like... Basically, a first move is always to test and see what they're gonna do so you can counteract theirs. And by counteracting theirs, you win these matches. Um, let and see what they can do on that side versus what I'll do on the other. He doesn't seem to be worrying about both sides at once. He seems to do one at a time. So basically that's kind of like a rookie move in a way. I mean, yes he has this defense. The defense is kind of annoying, but as far as attacking goes, you never want to... You never want to just do one side and then the other. You want to try and make sure that you're watching both sides. Because then someone like me could come along and attack you and win. So I got some crowns from that. And let's try it again and see what we can do. All right, so here we go. And let's see, is he gonna drop anything? So he seems to be just dropping what's gonna be a time release. I'll do a time release on one side and I'll focus on defense until I have enough to send some more on my offense side. Dragon is kind of annoying because when you don't have the musketeer or the spear goblin right there, it's kind of hard to take him down. Or a fireball, as you can see. Right there. So that's why I like having that goblin hut and the skeleton hut. That's why I like using You could really just use them for a whole match if you really wanted to. And as you can tell, he's got a whip right now, and this guy is decent. He, you know, he'll he group them together, which, I mean, I should not have done the fireball right there. I should have done the troops. But, that's how, that's, that's my mess up. That's, that's where my fault came from. I should not have done that. I should have done it with the troops so that I could so that I could win but I did it was a decent match it was my mess up let's go again alright so here we go we're gonna drop that and we're gonna I think I need to do that first. Nope. Uh, I see he's got the goblin hut and the fireball. Um, let's do the musketeer to go after those minions. Um, some goblins just to distract. And he's got a pen, so that's why he did that one side, like he did. Alright. down, so we'll do night over there. Giant right 
there because he'll do some damage on that side. So that I can focus on the other side. A lot of times you're moving and trying to decide which troop you necessarily want to train. I should have used my fingers so that it went to all of them. If I do, I do. It's another crown right there. Um, let's see. Let's trade the army. I wanted to do the lowest cost army possible. And I've never tested this before. I'm gonna switch the cannon with these arrows because arrows are kind of pointless. So let's do that and switch. All right, so let's see, let's see how this goes, because I've never done it before, so you guys are the first to see, and we'll see if this is actually a decent army or not. I mean, it might be unexpected. Obviously, I'm gonna keep my tank, which is the giant, or if I had a prince, I would probably lose it. Maybe, I don't know. The prince doesn't go straight to the castle. Like, if you have something there blocking the castle, he'll go to a... Alright, so he's got some decent troops. He's got a prince, he's got a P.E.K.K.A. This guy might know what he's doing. He's in the right there, so I think my troops start getting attacked. He doesn't like that. Um, I don't. I haven't seen anyone do this where they put the cannon right here before, but I would think it would work. Why the troops have to use the bridge? I would, if I could, I would make it so that mine didn't. But I guess it's a little thing that this game wants to do. Oh, and we got the whip on my giant. That's not a good sign because it's kind of. 
kind of hard when she's out here over there to get to her and so let's go. I should have saved my elixir. I think this is where my downfall is. I should have saved some of my troops and let my castles go at it instead of me try to him and try to rush them. Because that's how the three started. I mean, it's fair. It's all good. That was the first time I did that army. And that wasn't too bad. And I dropped my arena. I think I'm going to drop my arena more. To work on my other troops. Um, let's... Yeah, no one's on. Or I would match one of my people. And let's try this. Try again. See what we can find. Alright. So who do we match? Yeah, that's not bad. We'll try this army again and see what we can do. And I originally had minions in there instead of the dragon, but the the dragon does more damage than minions, and minions don't take a lot to kill them. Oh, whoa. So when the balloon drops, he drops a bomb. I didn't know that. You know this now because I haven't had a balloon yet. I want one because they're pretty boss. One thing that I don't like is that I have to wait for all this elixir to load. And so I'm having issues trying to decide which I want to do by how much elixir and trying to load that correctly. So if there's one thing that I actually do need to work on, it's managing my elixir correctly you don't want to drop like all of your elixir and then be waiting while the enemy is attacking you and just destroying your butt um, that's never fun to be perfectly honest it's, it's, it's not it's actually really easy to just drop all at once Double the elixir, which is always good, so you can go quicker. Distracting that dragon a little bit so I can get some stuff. Let's drop our team in there. I probably should have moved the team into the side so that my troops didn't have to go around it, but it makes his view here so. Again, that Pekka. We've got a whole bunch of troops up there. If I had a fireball, I'd use it on them. Stop a pain in my hair to distract them anymore. That 
was decent. I mean, it was the first, it was the second raid that I've done of that. Still the only one on. Oh wait, no, there's this guy. This Drew guy, I don't know him that well, but... Save that. Let's open a chest. This is the most common chest. Hey, I got barbarians. I've never had them before on this game. Canyon, that's great. Um, let's upgrade our cannon since I'm using that a lot lately. I'm thinking I'm gonna continue to use it. And we got our barbarian there. Yeah. Let's start three hour because I should be able to open that too later. And then open the eight hour as I go to bed or right before or something like that. Um but yeah, that's that's what I got for you right now. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out Kyle's below. I'll see you next time.